Hello students. Today we are going to start with chapter 8 of your grammar book that is subject verb agreement. Now students as you have noticed the heading, the heading is subject verb agreement. That means the subject has to agree with the verb which is placed to it. Now I will be saying two sentences and I want you to ponder that what is wrong in that. She were eating apple. They is walking. I am sure students in these two sentences you must have noticed that there is something wrong in these two sentences. Ma'am does not speak like that. Even like if you are don't know the rules then also you will feel that you know it's not uh, good to hear these words there is something wrong now i'll tell you what's wrong with these two sentences in the first sentence i said she were eating apples now here the pronoun she is the subject and the verb i have used here is were now this is what is wrong in this sentence. She is a singular subject. We are talking about one girl. And with that, I have used the verb were, which is wrong. So instead of were, I should use was. So if I say she was eating an apple, that would be the correct sentence. Now, why I have used was? Because she is a singular pronoun or singular subject. In this case, we will say subject and the verb here is was. Instead of was, we can use is also, you know, has also. So, all these are verbs. If we say she have, that is going to be wrong because again, has is used with the singular verbs. Now, in the second sentence that I spoke was they what uh, is with they I use the singular verb again that is wrong with they I must use the plural verb with they since they is the subject here and they is the plural form that means many people are there with that I should use are were have etc so this is basically the subject verb agreement now let's move on with your textbook now what do we say if the noun or pronoun subject in a sentence is singular the verb must be singular if it is plural the verb must be plural okay so this is what exactly is called subject verb agreement and i'm telling you students most of the students when they write they make most of the mistakes in this only subject verb agreement there they make mistakes they use you know have with the singular pronoun or singular person so we should try to avoid this kind of mistakes if you overcome this if you study this topic very well and i'm sure you'll be able to write very wonderful you know creative writings and you'll be able to speak also fluently now the features for this uh, in the case of personal pronouns the third person singular pronoun he she it always takes singular verbs now if we talk about uh, the verbs for example if i say he live in calcutta now again this is wrong why because here he is the singular pronoun and live is the verb. And if I am saying he live, that is wrong. I must put S with lives and then it will agree with the subject. So the correct sentence will be he lives in Calcutta. He likes to eat ice cream he walks daily so with the verb if 
the subject is singular we must add s to the verb now once uh, uh, i was you know teaching in grade 7th and students you know one of the students said that ma'am if we add s to the verb won't it become a plural so there was this confusion with the student but whenever we are putting s to any word it does not become plural rules are different so you need to understand plurals can be made with the nouns not with the verbs first rule you should clear that if you are adding s to the verb the verb does not get plural if you are adding s to the noun then it will be plural plural or singular nouns are there not verbs not adjectives so to remove that confusion i am sure many students are not confused in that regard but even if a single student is confused you should listen to this carefully that only nouns are plurals not verbs or adjectives okay so very small thing but we should all remember and i am sure if you will remember that you will not make any mistake so remember that if you are adding s to the verb it won't be plural in fact it will be agreeing with the subject now uh, you all know about the three uh, uh, persons first person second person and third person first person is i we second person is he she and third person is they he she you you know and third person is uh, they so accordingly we need to use the verbs now another important uh, point i would like to tell you students that collective nouns usually take a singular verb here also many students make mistakes and uh, we as teachers you know try to give these kind of questions to the students to make your concepts clear for example if i say this this team of players is dedicated now you will say ma'am why we have used is team means so many people and even players are there but here the subject we should look at the subject here the subject is not players the subject is this team and team is a collective noun that comprises it's a one word for many people so there we will see that the team is a singular subject over there and that is why we have used is another example which is given in your book also is that a bunch of roses is decorated in the vase now again here the subject is not roses though the roses are plural there are many roses but here we will focus on the subjects so here the subject is a bunch of roses so with collective nouns we always use is this again has to you know get clear in your minds that collective nouns with collective nouns we use singular verb not the plural verb okay now moving on to more points to remember that uh, the you know the verb we should try to put the verb as close as possible to the subject for example the example that is given in your book is also is that she loves reading stories so here she is the subject and the verb is loves she loves reading so it's very close the subject is placed immediately before the verb in some sentences you know the subject may not be placed next to the verb it can be a little far so when a group of words acts as a subject the main word is actually the subject for example the long fairy tales that she narrated were interesting now here you will see that the subject is fairy tales the is article long is adjective so the subject is fairy tales so here we are talking about fairy tales and fairy tales is a plural subject okay that she narrated 
were interesting so that is why we have used were and you will you notice that the subject and the verb is placed a little away okay so but it is in agreement with the subjects all right now moving on to more features of this and the students there are a lot of exercises here are given uh, we'll be doing it in the class uh, but uh, i will suggest you that you should focus more on the speaking thing because if you will speak in english you'll be able to do it correctly and we are also there to correct you and uh, that way i'm sure you will be able to you know uh, improve your speaking skill as well as writing skills now nouns denoting food clothing furniture and stationery are singular and take a singular verb for example the furniture now the furniture it can be a single chair it can be you know many chairs it can include sofa table everything but with that we will be using the singular verb the furniture is polished we will not say the furniture are polished that would be wrong we are taking furniture as the singular subject now when we talk of news news we take it as a singular one we will say this is a breaking news so here the subject is news and the verb is is now another example that i would like to give is one of the girls is known to me now what many students don't understand this thing one of the girls here i'm talking about that there are many girls but only one of them i am pinpointing one of them i'm talking about so it would be singular many of us gets confused over there also that one of the girls ma'am said girls so that means it's plural no you should focus on the first word one of the girls means there are many girls but i am talking about a one girl so here we will also be using the singular verb one of the girls is known to me so that is why i have used the verb is because i am taking out i am talking about one single girl out of you know of the of out of uh, many girls again if we i give you a similar example of this one of the oranges i have eaten now one of the oranges here i said i have since i we consider it as plural plural so i have used have here and if i say one of the oranges she has eaten now again one we are talking about one orange out of so many oranges and who has eaten she has eaten so she is a singular and that is why we have used has and when i said i have eaten i used have because we always consider i as a plural pronoun okay students so these will be doing a lot of exercises related to that and uh, i'm sure you will uh, understand this and with practice you will overcome this fear of you know speaking and writing using the correct verbs now more examples i would like to uh, give you when when the name of a country a book or a film is denoted in a plural noun it is used with a singular verb for example uh, the united states of america has now here the subject is united states of america but i have used the verb has people people again comprises means many police and cattle are considered as plural they take plural verbs for example if i say people are talking about uh, our neighbors if i say that so here people we are taking people as 
plural that is why i have used the verb are now another uh, important uh, feature of this is that if i uh, when a plural number is used for distance weight and amounts of money as a single single figure or quantity is this considered singular and takes a singular verb for example if i if i say 3 years is a long time now 3 years 3 is plural years is plural but i have used the verb is so that's a rule students we always use with years and um, for distance and amount of money we always use singular verb and another feature is that whenever we use a pair we again use a singular verb for example you know a pair of scissors a pair of socks because uh, why we are using singular verb because if you say pair of socks so we are considering two socks as one unit so that is why we because you know one is not um, uh, what we cannot do anything with one sock so that is considered as one unit a pair of socks though we are talking about two socks but we will be using singular verb here a pair of socks is lying there so students a verb in each sentence is changes according to the number and person of the subject okay a singular verb is used when any of the following you know the subject of a sentence for example anyone another anybody each either every everybody so there also we'll be using singular verb if i say everybody is waiting to hear from you everybody though everybody is plural but again we'll be using here the singular verb we will not say everybody are waiting that would be wrong and same goes with either or and neither nor we use singular verb neither rita nor suman is attending the seminar either my father or my mother is arranging for my trip so there also with neither nor either or we always use singular verb okay students so i am sure you have understood the subject verb agreement and uh, as i said we'll be doing lot of exercises not only from the book we'll be discussing lot of uh, oral things also and uh, we'll do the notebook work and uh, you can clear your doubts any time and we'll be discussing this topic in the class as well thank you so much